Guys, this is Will with Phrenology, and we're just going to talk about Google's complete meltdown of the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL. Take a look at the photos you see here before you. The notch looks like a bathtub with two eyes and a face that I will never unsee. Guys, it's 2018. It's almost the end. We're at October 2018. The main thing about this phone that I can see is obviously the design. If this is the phone that comes out on Tuesday, October 9th from Google, this is going to be a sad, messed up world <laughs> that we're going to live in in the Google ecosystem. All I can tell you is that, yeah, plenty of people are going to buy it. I myself was most likely going to buy this phone. But the fact that it's 2018 and we're getting the 845 processor from Snapdragon. That's the, one of the last phones this year that's going to get a chip that's been out since the S9, if not earlier than that. That's sad. What happened to Google back in the day when the Nexus devices came out? And I had the Nexus 1, day one when it came out. That phone led in specs. That phone led in screen size, screen resolution, screen everything, okay? This that was Google's package to say, "Hey, other manufacturers, look at my phone. Look at the Google phone and how the phone should be done going forward. Step up your game." Google has completely thrown that out the window 2018. The Pixel line, yeah, it's going to have the latest software on it, but it doesn't have the latest specs. And on top of that, they're copying, dare I say, Apple and all the other Android devices out there now with the notch. Well, okay, so if we're looking at the design, the biggest thing is you have the notch, you have the bathtub notch at the top with the eyes and the mouth that I'll just never unsee. But you have a chin at the bottom. Why do you have a chin at the bottom, Google? I mean, I understand, stereo speakers, great. I had the six... Um, what is it called? The, uh, the OnePlus 6. Great phone, except for the fact that it didn't have stereo speakers. And coming from an S9 at the time, not having stereo speakers was just not a fun experience. The phone was light. And that was a great phone. But you know what? That's a review for another day. Back to the Pixel. You're going to have stereo speakers. Great. But you have a chin that you have to deal with and a notch. That's sad. That's design 101. You just throw that out the window. Somebody comes to you as Google and say, hey, look, I got a design here. It's got a notch at the top. It's got a chin at the bottom. I would tell that guy or girl, go back to the drawing board because, son, you got it wrong. This is not what our consumers want. Come out with something bezel-less. Come out with maybe just a smaller notch. Come out with a teardrop. That's an idea. One plus six T looking at you, but the biggest thing here is gonna be the design. Now, I hope they come out with features that are packed left and right on this new Pixel 3 XL. But what we can tell by the leaks is that this phone is gonna be very, very fugly. Uh, not much more than that, it's gonna be an ugly phone, probably the ugliest design of 2018. Uh, you know, I don't know what else they're going to throw in there. I'm sure they're going to throw everything under the sun to get you to buy. Meaning that they're probably going to give you a Google Home Mini or another Google Home for free when you pre-order. And I, you know, from what I can understand, pre-orders start October 9th, which is this Tuesday, immediately after the keynote or whatever you want to call it, the presentation from Google they are going to have to pull out all the stops because there's a lot of people that are very, very pissed off about this phone. And based off the leaks that Google has been putting out there, whether on purpose or not, I'm sure people have already said, look, I'm going to go buy the iPhone, whatever, Max, or I'm going to go buy the, uh, the Note 9, and I'm not going to wait for Google's Pixel because it's too hard. It's almost like you know what's coming out, and it's... Most tech people, 
the money just burns a hole in their pocket anyways. And so they made that decision when the leaks came out that this phone is just not worth getting. I'm hoping again that Google just puts out a surprise and says, guys, we have the Pixel Ultra. The Google hands-on videos that they show within the device, it shows a, you know, a drawn animation of someone holding the phone and the phone looks like the Google Pixel would look, the, the Ultra. It has a bezel-less design. What phone is that? Why are you showing us that, Google? You come out with the latest, uh, the wireless charging stand that you leak, or however, who somebody leaked it, right? What's the phone on that, on that wireless charging stand? Take a look at the photo. That is the Pixel Ultra. That's the one that everybody wants and everybody's been looking for. Google, come out with that. Don't come out with this, uh, I, we heard the rumors, or the rumors are true about the small, you're looking for a small Pixel device. No, nobody cares about that. That's not the rumor. The rumor is the Pixel Ultra. But that's probably not what we're going to get, because again, it leaked 100 times. Russia has come in, and they have somehow have a bunch of phones. There's videos being put out by... Uh, a Russian YouTube guy that that had whole hands-on video of the phone with the notch and the chin and the whole bit. Guys, I'm a Pixel 2 XL user, and uh, it's still a great phone. I think the camera is amazing. I think it's better than the Max, the iPhone Max, uh, whatever 10s Max they're calling it, XS Max. I, uh, I I think the screen resolution could be better. I don't care for that uh, pentile or whatever they call the the display on the on the two, I really think that uh, I'm, this this new Pixel 3 XL better hit it out of the park with this this display, and you know that's the main thing. That's some of the stuff that I just want to rant on about. Uh, guys, what are you looking forward to? What are you hoping happens with the October 9th Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL launch? Comment below and let me know. What do you, what's the feature? What's the one thing that you must have? Now, on a side note, let me just say this. I know on some of the other YouTube videos, other, other channels, they have talked about how Google asked them for videos, and those videos were bad. Those were bad review videos regarding the notch. So, not sure what Google's plan is with that to mislead everyone, but they actually have videos of YouTube personalities saying how much they hate the notch. So what's gonna happen? I mean, is this just for shits and giggles for the Pixel 3 because it doesn't have a notch? Is that what this is for? I hope not, gosh, I really hope not. But Google, step up your game. October 9th, you better come out with something good. You better come out with something that all the tech community actually wants. If you're going to charge us $850, God forbid you charge us 1000 come out with a phone that's better than, than the leaks. All right, Google. Ball is in your court. And uh, guys, comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hate this video and you just hate everything that I said, give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe. It helps the channel. And I will see you guys on the next one.